Hi everyone, my name is Glenn Barley and welcome to another video blog. In today's video I want to talk about a few new pieces of equipment that have come into my possession recently and most of these are from Lenscoat. They make, um, if you've ever seen people out with, with big glass, 500 millimeters, 600 millimeters, there's a very good chance that they've got this camouflage covering on them or maybe digital camo or maybe just black. Uh, most people who have big expensive lenses these days use uh, lens coat products to protect their lenses and with good reason they make a great product it does exactly what it's supposed to do so i was excited the other day when in the mail i got a nice little package from uh, lens coat with a few of their uh, products that they wanted me to check out so they sent me a couple of these um, lens sacks they call them and they sent me two different sizes the smaller one here and this is the larger one and these are designed to be sort of like a bean bag type of product or you of course you could uh, if you wanted to use, the nice thing about them is that they're not filled so you could use them if you were traveling to store certain items and then when it was time to come uh, to start shooting you could fill them up with you know a t-shirt or of course you could add beans or whatever you wanted to in there but these are really nice little um, little sacks um, they I anticipate there's not a lot to them of course they're they're pretty simple product designed to support your lens while you're shooting um, it's nice that they use this kind of rubberized material on the bottom, nice and tough. And also, if you're putting your um, a bean bag on a windowsill, like out shooting out of the car window or something like that, or, or on the top of a car maybe, um, it won't move around much, which is really nice. Um, so that's a great design feature. Um, so you can see here I've got some material in this one, and you can imagine that if this was the car windowsill, you would just have it sitting on there like that. Um, this tie-down strap here, you could even potentially put around the lens or the lens foot to give it extra stability. Um, could be an option. Um, so a good little product if you're in the market for beanbag. These are actually really affordable too. I've seen some other beanbags that are pretty pretty pricey, and these are just under thirty dollars. So it's a pretty good value, especially considering you can use it as a stuff sack or for a few other things. What I've done here on this one is, and I think this is what I'll do for future trips, is I've actually added my quick camo blind in here. So I've got my blind and I've got an added benefit of having a nice little bean bag. So if you're in the market for a bean bag, check out these from Lens Coat. The guys over there also sent me a few of their rain covers. Now I've used the Storm Jacket rain covers in the past and they, you know, they're just simple product. It's essentially a bag that's waterproof. You slide it over your lens. You're fairly well protected. I like the simplicity of them, but there is some room for design improvements. And I think lens coat has got a good little product here. Um, one of the things that's really nice that differs on the lens coat one is these sort of Velcro straps. So you can imagine you put the lens, you put this over the lens. It's all Velcro on the bottom, which is nice. Um, the, so it's easy to just slide it over your lens and your rig, do up the Velcro on the bottom. But then you've got this big floppy bag um, and it's kind of nice that they've provided you with the option of doing some Velcro adjustments and tightening things up um, so that you don't have so much material floating around. So that's a good little feature. Other than that, pretty simple, waterproof, durable material. And I'm actually looking forward to using these not only for rain, but later on this fall, I'm headed down to Antarctica and the Falkland Islands. And I anticipate that wind and potentially blowing sand could be an issue. And this looks like just the ticket to protect my camera and lens from that. So that's the simple version that they have, the sort of um, more straightforward one. They also sent me their pro version, which you can see is this is a larger option. So this would be for my 600. And pretty similar, Velcro on the bottom, put it on over the lens, tighten it down over the hood, What's kind of neat about this one is that if you want, if you're really in a lot of rain and you want to keep um, your hands that are going to be wet from going on the camera, it's got these little Velcro pockets and out the side comes this area here where you can have, you can just sort of put your hand in there and then manipulate the camera without exposing the camera to the rain. And there's also another um, Velcro little area where you can access the focusing ring if you, if you needed to do that. So pretty well engineered product. Um, from Lens Coat. I'll put a link in the description here and you can check those out if you're in the market for either a new uh, rain or uh, protective cover for your camera or a bean bag. These are some good options that you can check out. And you may notice in this video, hopefully, that I sound quite a bit better, uh, a little bit clearer than in some of my other videos. And the reason for that is that um, Stony Edge sent me some, new mic some of their microphones to try out. So you might have noticed, I've got a little microphone on here and I'm testing this out for the first time, so hopefully it sounds great. Um, video is one of those things where it seems like you just point and shoot and you take a video and it's great to watch, 
But one thing that I've really noticed in the past little bit is that the audio is actually the, a lot harder part to get right. And having a good microphone um, for doing this kind of thing is going to be a really nice addition. So I thank those guys. And if you're in the market for a, a simple, affordable microphone, you might want to check them out as well. And um, yeah, hopefully this video sounds great. And I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.